What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Hopefully, everyone's doing all right. Uh, give it a minute. Let everyone join. Sales were good today. Good Friday. I don't know if it's just Friday in general, but Fridays have always been good for me. Granted, the week was sorry. I'm trying to get situated. <clears throat> week was okay. Uh, Friday definitely made up for it. A lot of my jerseys sold. Two jerseys today. So two jerseys down. Poshmark just got an offer on Poshmark. I want to hear how you guys did today. Post in the chat. Let me know what numbers you got today. Uh, one Amazon FBA was one of my micro cassette recorders. Um, sorry, the light's kind of weird. I don't know if it's the yellow shirt behind me that's kind of jacking it up. Susan, chat. Alan Fulmer, what's up, Sean? Alicia, how's it going? Thrill the hunt, Donna. Vicky, Hard Dixie Flipper, Diesel. Hey, John, what's going on, guys? Yeah, yellow. Yellow and yellow. I didn't realize I did that. Twinning. John, hopefully you had a good day today. How many sales do you have? All right, so I had uh, eight. I am getting, I'm climbing back up, climbing back up. My 60-day uh, total went down a little bit this week. Or I should say last uh uh, last two or three weeks has been bad, but hard dicks to flipper had four today. Nice three eBay, one posh. Hey, Sue Ann, what's going on? Donna had two, John had several. Nice, maybe, maybe eight. All right, so uh, I get a lot of questions about how do I get started? Uh, how do I start reselling? What should I buy? Uh, and my my first response, and I'm hoping I want to hear what you guys think also, but my first response is. Start with what you have, right? There's a ton of things that you have that you don't you don't play with anymore, you don't wear anymore, uh, stuff you put away that you never bring out, seasonal items maybe. Well, I went in my closet and uh, I do, I say a lot, uh, we have a golfing event that we have every year and they give out free, I say give out, you have to donate and then you get uh, polo shirts, you get two polo shirts, I think you get like a hundred dollar credit towards the, the the golf store, but you get two polo shirts. So <coughs> uh, sometimes I try them on, sometimes I don't. I just picked ec extra larges. Now these don't fit as well, so I find that I'm not wearing this one as much, and I have this one here, and I'm not wearing this one as much. And there's their foot joys, so I could probably at least get uh, at least get twenty bucks for them. So basically, look for stuff around the house. Maybe stuff that you aren't, uh, uh, stuff that you aren't wearing, stuff that you aren't using. Uh, I also like to thrift stuff, wash it, wear it, and then until it sells, it sells. Uh, but look for things around the house to sell. I mean, that's probably forty bucks right there for fees tonight. Uh, I started going through the closet and I said, "Hey, what am I not wearing anymore?" <laughs> Thrill the Hunt still sells things from their house. Uh, my wife doesn't wear clothes anymore. I sold one of her North Face windbreakers, rain jackets, that she hasn't worn in a while. So sold that. Uh, when you're just starting out, just do that. Grow some capital. I say it's free money. It's it's stuff you have around the house that uh, you really don't use anymore, right? Instead of sitting around, you're actually getting money for it. Then take that money once you've exhausted everything in the house. Take that and start going to thrift stores, start buying uh, lots, start testing the waters. Uh, old motherboards sell great. Yes, old motherboards, as well as flip phones. You'd be surprised that flip phones sell really well. Um, the bearded picker picks, picks up flip phones, so look for those. Those sell pretty well. John sold uh, or listed six last night, sold two. Nice motherboards that's crazy now that's a dive john if you don't look on liquidation there's uh there's motherboards that come back now i don't know how you test them but uh you can look there as well sold my daughter's old clarinet the other day nice uh what else have i sold my wife sold uh puma some of her old shoes i've sold now granted they aren't she wears them like five ten times and then sells them but she had a pair she wasn't wearing anymore. I sold those. Um, some of the sweaters I haven't worn, list them up. I mean, even if you get a couple bucks for them, it's better than sitting in your closet never wearing it, right? Jerseys. I've sold some jerseys that I've had that I don't wear anymore. Um, household items. Uh, clothing. 
But uh, yeah. So that's where I say look for stuff around the house. Even if you're seasoned, even if you're a seasoned reseller, there's stuff all around here that kids don't play with anymore. Uh, I sold a, so I went to Facebook Marketplace when my son was real little, probably two or three. And I bought a little Tykes train set and it was the old vintage kind. I think I bought it for like 20. I sold it probably a year and a half later when he stopped playing with it. It was the vintage little Tykes, sold it for, I think, $45. <laughs> So, yeah, look at doing that stuff. Sold our old iPad mini, too. Yeah, the old Apple stuff, they sell, the, they hold really well. They sell really well. Now, the other part of that is if you hold on them even longer, they sell even better. Like, if you could find a, a first-generation iPad or iPod, those things sell like crazy. The iPod shuffles, the little ones, that's a good 50 to 80 bucks. At least the last one I sold, my wife had a... Uh, a pink iPod shuffle that uh, she never used anymore. And I listed it. I think it sold within four to five hours. It was crazy. Uh, vintage Freebooter. Thanks for joining. When I started, I sold everything. Now the stuff, now the only stuff I own that is not for refill, resell is a few boxes of personal items. Hey, Joey. Yeah. So it is crazy. It's some of the stuff I thrift, I wear until it sells. So it's kind of cool, right? You kind of rotate your closet. But, uh, yeah, and you can get into uh, selling pretty much anything and everything that uh, you basically rotate what you don't use. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just kind of thought that was an interesting topic, uh, selling things that uh, you don't use. I mean, look around the house. I mean, there's you could probably make an easy $1,000, and that's just a guess, depending on what you have, right? Uh, there's stuff in that cube uh, thing back there that I've probably never used in a while. The never-ending wardrobe. That's right, Alicia. Joey, glad to help. So Joey had a little trouble with his discount code for liquidation.com. He won an awesome lot there. Uh, we got it sorted out. He got it to work. So uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we're giving away another one, and we're going to do a room tour. So if you haven't seen all my inventory, and the downstairs, the kids' area, I'll show you everything down here. Uh, stay tuned. So that'll be tomorrow. Mike heard Apple is clamping down on the selling of the products. Really? I haven't heard that. I'll have to look at that. Throw the hunt. Yeah, list the shuffle. Those little shuffles are really well, sell really well. So definitely look at doing that. I sold the, uh, Vicky says, sold the iPod mini and bought a new iPad. There you go. So iPod. So, um, Right, you can upgrade your devices. So I have a right here. This is my old. Still has dust on it. I have it listed. No one's bought it yet. I uh, iPhone six plus. It's a big one, right? Here's my actual phone. See right there, right? So that's the the iPhone six. I should look on Declutter what I can get for. It, but if you're looking to upgrade, sell your phone to Declutter. Take that money, invest it in a new device or pre-owned device. But there you go. So <clears throat> sell stuff around your house. You can make good money. And it's a good place to start. If you're just starting out, don't spend, you know, 500 bucks on stuff that, uh, that you could have sold around the house. So that's where I recommend to start. Uh, what do we have to do to get in the code, to get the code? Donna, just show up tomorrow. Tomorrow it'll be a live giveaway. So just show up. Maybe it might be a live giveaway. Stay tuned to the Facebook group. I'm not sure what we'll do yet. I got to think of something. But yeah, Donna, just uh, just come on over. All right. So second half, we'll talk about the hangout. What you got? Did you guys, who sourced today? What's one thing you guys sourced that was awesome? I went after work and I picked up some cool stuff I'll show you here. I'll talk about ties and then I'll talk about the rest of the stuff I picked up. I actually picked up something for myself. Chris says, I volunteer to drive clothes donations to the thrift store for friends and fill for the good stuff before I drop off. There you go. Uh, throw the hunt. Old cords can sell well if an item doesn't work, but the cord is good listed. Yeah, you can make lots of stuff too, right? So if you have a ton of similar cords, like I get a ton of uh, lightning cords through liquidation, I lot them up together and sell them that way. It's, or if you have a local store, or uh, Facebook Marketplace, you sell them for a dollar. People buy cords for a dollar. 
Sue Ann got a Thanksgiving blow mold lamp in auction last night. Oh, really? How did those sell? I've never even heard of that stuff. That's cool. Panda tie. I picked up some cool tie with three cool ties. I'm going to show you. Uh, got a nice giant brand bike seat today. Never heard of giant. Does that sell well, John? Yeah, Sue Ann, I think you still have time to list that Thanksgiving blow mold. Definitely. All right. So uh, let's start going. Go through my lot tonight. A couple of cool things on my lot. Uh, bought some for the kids. Didn't realize they already had one. So I'm going to sell it. Uh, Christine uh, to the thrift store and got five pairs of designer denim jeans. $5 a piece. Awesome. Great finds there. Tie me up with some of your ties. Thank you. <laughs> what? Hubby's got a Donald Trump tie for a dollar. Yeah, list that high. List it high. I don't I would put I list my Donald Trump ties very high. I put best offer on them. And then at two dollars a tie, it's all profit. Ooh, thrift store cords. They charge you four dollars a cord. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Paid three, should flip for 25. Nice, John. So giant bike seats. Okay. Rockport shoes. Okay, nice. Got a 1950s Mickey Mouse Pilot pencil topper. Interesting. That's awesome. All right. Jo Joey's going to leave the bins alone. Yeah, you got to get all your stuff listed before you get that liquidation lot. So that's the other thing, right? When you get inventory come and ship to you, you got to make sure you have everything cleaned out because that is going to take up most of your time. So you got to plan for it, right? Uh, all right, what did I what did I source today? What did I pay? Hey, hold on, where is I right, here it is? Oops. So today I actually bought one thing for myself today. Look at that price. I better buy a lottery ticket. 33.22. 33.22. I bought here's the thing I bought for myself. Joey. Joey, are you watching, Joey? You ready? Joey, this is for you. So uh, I vacation in Delaware. Actually, my wife's family has a place down there. We go there every summer. Uh, I, sh I had some videos I posted last summer from them. I actually met Joe and Joey and Adam down there. Um, I've seen this every time I've gone down, never bought it. And I, it's very weird that it showed up in my thrift store today. Um, <clears throat> and I was very surprised. I was very happy it did because this probably retails, I think it's like 50 or 30 or 50 bucks. Well, it showed up. I bought it for $3. Look how big this is. So brand new, tin sign. Uh, I need to look for comps on eBay, but that's awesome. I've wanted this forever. So how many times have you got, found something at the thrift store that you wanted to keep? Some dogfish head and you like beer? Try it out. Good beer. But this sign is probably going to end up back there somewhere or up here. Isn't that awesome? So it's a, a I have no idea, tin maybe, aluminum. But uh, yeah, cool sign. I bought it for $2.99. Uh, always wanted one. I think I have a little one. Oh, here, I have a little one over there. I have the little version, but that's the big version. That's awesome. So I was super happy to see that in Columbus, Ohio, nonetheless. So that was my find of the day. My goodwill with at least last $25. I was surprised. I was waiting to see above 20, but I looked at it and said 299. So awesome. Been a very busy day. Red Neckerson, hopefully you've had some good sales today. You always have some good sales. Donna, I did the happy dance on the inside. I grabbed it as quick as I could, threw it in the cart. All right, I bought this for my daughter, not realizing she already had one. Uh, I was kind of excited, too, when I saw it. But she already has one, so I'm going to list it and sell it. It's a hockey helmet. And, again, we talk about sports equipment. This is kind of small, kind of small helmet. But uh, <clears throat> this stuff does pretty well. If you look online, there's pretty good prices on it. This was only uh, $2.99. See right there, $2.99. Uh, I will list it. If it doesn't sell, I'll take it to the, the secondhand sports store. But uh, Cages has the straps on it. Uh, 
So I couldn't pass it up. My wife goes, why'd you buy that? She already has one. I forgot. She has a pink one. So, but yeah, bought that two ninety nine. Throw the hunt, always find stuff for me. Pass it up most of the time, but I did get a grind and brew coffee maker for my shop. Yeah, I love finding stuff that you can use for yourself. Uh, and what's even better is you find the stuff that uh, could pay for, right? So all the stuff I bought pays for the sign. Uh, Linda, Linda, thanks for joining. Bought a Duke University windbreaker style jacket for seven, listed and sold in hours for full price. Awesome. $55. That's a great flip. Holy cow. Nice job. Medium too. Yeah, those school that school stuff sells well. So my uh that's a great point, uh, Linda. Uh today, even I say the no name, I because I went to one of these colleges, the littler name schools, like you know, you think of Duke, you think of uh, USC, um, big name, right? Well, today. This is what I sold. You guys remember this? I bought this last weekend. I think I spent a hundred dollars when I went. Um, Chris, it's a, it's a way to justify horny things. Shh, don't tell my wife that. Uh, remember this thing? So I bought that. It was a zip up, right? Nike dry fit zip up. <coughs> it's from Denison University. Denison is a little liberal arts school in uh, Ohio. Little liberal arts college. There it is, Denison. Sold for $25. So that's a good $15 flip, $15 profit. Uh, so when you see the little name schools with the Nikes and the Under Armors, you'll get some money for it. So that stuff does sell. So Linda, that's a great pickup. Tracy, you got to come again? Nice. Hopefully your day was well. Mine was all right. All right, so what else did I pick up? All right, here's something else I picked up. The button I don't think falls off this one. You guys remember the white one I picked up? Well, I found a black one. And if the CD player works, this one will be going to FBA. Uh, spent uh, $4.99 on this one. I believe, I think it was 50 or 70 bucks. You can see here. It's a bigger radio. CD player, where's the open? Oh, there it is. You hit the button here. So there's the CD player it goes in there. I will test it out. The last one, this button fell off. This one's in there. So this will go to FBA. Got to test it. If you guys want to look for this model number, keep your eyes out. The Dream Machine sell really well, so pick up Dream Machine. Uh, where's the model number? Right there. ICF CD 7000. So right there. If you guys can find that model number, pick it up. Stuff like this sells crazy on amazon so if you're looking to get amazon look for this stuff that stuff does really well everyone is proud of their school and will buy the merch that is true but it's what's crazy to me is it's like uh i say little school right people still buy it on ebay nonetheless it's awesome it's great throw the hunt did you just have a sale what'd you sell uh, found this night uh, NHL find that stuff this stuff. It's a new era Fitted which is awesome the older school NHL logo uh, There you go, it's got the size on it if you get fitted hats look for sizes especially uh, New eras if they're flex fit they're uh, small medium large extra large But uh, the new eras most likely have the sizes seven eight seven and one fourth whatever one half this is seven one half but uh used hat great condition again if you're buying hats check the brim this one looks uh looks okay a little warm but not too bad so i'll list that for 20. 20 dollar hat is a great sell for a two dollar pickup uh this one has been sitting in my thrift store for a while usc uh, i left it there for a long time just because the brand is pro player. I've never sold a pro player before. Uh, I believe it's a little lower in brand. I have to research it, but uh, I only bought it because I didn't get much tonight. Plus, it's USC, so that might do all right. I might pair it. Maybe I'll bundle it with the hat I have. We'll see. Night shift's always fun. That's right, Tracy. I worked the night shift before. 
It's interesting. All right, who can't like Brown stuff? Browns got another win last week. Crush them. Crush the Falcons. Uh, NFL equipment. I always pick up all NFL equipment. There's a polo shirt, NFL team apparel. If you can find NFL team apparel, especially polo shirts, NFL in the back, take pictures of all brands or uh, all logos. That should do really well, especially since it's uh, extra large, larger sizes. Uh, minus the ties. Here's my find of the day. Find of the day. You guys can find mock turtlenecks, compression, or even just straight compression Under Armour stuff. This stuff <coughs> does really well. Trent McNally says pro player was my nickname in high school. Awesome. Uh, this is all season gear. So you can see right there all season, but the mock turtlenecks do really well. This is a little thicker, which is nice. It's got the Under Armour embroidered it there, as well as a golf course embroidered on the chest. So if you can find these mock turtlenecks and you can get them for the right price, they sell upwards of $29 to $33. I will probably list this for like $32.99. Give that a shot. But uh, they do really well. Don't pass them up. Uh, they will sell. So that was my haul minus what I'm going to show you here. Um, there's only certain reasons I will buy ties. Now I'm going to tell you here, look for certain brands do better than the others. Obviously like, uh, you know, you see the Alfani's, you see the, uh, Van Heusen's. I mean, you're not going to get much for those. They'll sit for a while. You make, it might make a dollar or two. Uh, but always research the brand. If you feel the tie and it's a heavier quality. That's something you want to look at, right? So when I start looking at the tie rack, I start feeling them. I have a feel to them. If they're real thin and flimsy. Uh, just check, still check the logo, but most likely those are probably going to be no good. The thicker ties, higher quality, um, brighter colors. So brighter quali colors, thicker quality, and what's on the tie is my rule for buying ties. So when you look at something, you're going to want to look at uh, those couple things and brands, obviously one of them. Uh, the other thing to look at is make sure the back and the logo are sewn on. You don't know how many ties I've seen. I've seen where this end is either comes undone, and that probably then that kills the value of your tie. Just leave it. Uh, if you got the outlets, maybe pull it if it's still a good brand. But uh, make sure everything there is intact. And look at the brand. So Goodwill upper charges on their Under Armour here as well. The sign would have cost 40 bucks. Whoa, man, Chris, $40, really? <clears throat> All right, so here's the first tie I picked up. And you can tell, you start learning what the logos look like. Flip your ties really uh, quickly. Brooks Brothers, it's got the signature there. Well, that's what it looks like. Uh, that pattern is kind of cool. Thick, heavy quality. Again, the the back uh, tie holder. I don't know what that's called. Tie holder's intact. Uh, there's no snags. Look along the top. There's no snags. There's no fraying on it. And uh, the bottom's awesome. So uh, this is a Brooks Brothers tie. Solo, this range is anywhere between like $13 and $29. So that's the cool color. Blue with the... I forget. I don't know what this is called. Teardrops, maybe. Awesome color. Uh, awesome feel to it. What originally caught my eye was this one. This one's awesome. So with ties, look for uh, certain, like really, like if you find like lobsters, something that normally is not on the tie. Paisley. That's it, Sue Ann. I like that's. I love love that color. So this is what originally caught my eye. Uh, golf balls. And golf pins or golf uh, tees, not tees, flags. So there you go. This is yellow. It is Brooks Brothers, Brothers also. My dilemma now, and it's yellow. It's bright. It's pretty thick. So two Brooks, Brooks Brothers ties. I'm thinking about combining them or separating them. Either way, if I separate them, I'm going to list them for $29.99 each. 
put them together, maybe 45, 49, but uh, heavy quality, nice brands. Uh, if you find sweaters of Brooks Brothers, cashmere, that's an easy $100. So that's the pick up here. So look for Brooks Brothers if you can, or if you do find them. The last one I found, and this fell under the uh, the color category, as well as the thickness and the uh, company brand, I should say. Look at that. Pink with uh, teal or light blue squares. That's kind of cool. Look at that. <coughs> and then it's Ted Baker, Ted Baker of London. Keep your eye out for that. If you see the, uh, a lot of times the cheaper ties I've found have just this top thing. But when you see the specific one just sewn in addition to this, look it up. Uh, when I list ties, I try to measure length. So length this way, how long it is. As well as the thickest part of the tie, you're going to want to measure from here to here. I'll put that in the listing. And then, uh, I take pictures like this in addition, like this. So you want to show right there, we'll show the, the fabric of the tie. And right here, we'll show the backing of it, which is cool. And take a picture of this. So that, again, another $29.99 tie. I'm going to list it for. Um, now, ties might sit for a little bit. So someone asked me a question earlier about bundling. Certain things will bundle better than others, like the lower name stuff, I'll bundle all together. So I have a, a, a listing of like 40, 30 or 50, 30 or 40 ties, all lower name brands, Alfani, um, Land's End, Van Heusen, all cool ties, but alone, you're only going to make a dollar or two. All together, it's probably a better buy depending on how you bought them or better sell depending on how you bought them. So the bundling versus keeping them separate is also all how you want to make your money, right? If you want to wait for the longer tail and sell each one individually, go for it. If you want to get the quicker sale, a potential bundle might help that. So, And you could play with it. Bundle it if it doesn't sell for a little bit. Take the listing down, wait for it to expire, put two listings up and see how that works, right? So if I sell one tie for $29, I've paid for my whole lot. Uh, so something to think about, right? Bundle versus not bundle. And ties are pretty nice because they are easy to ship, easy to list. Uh, and when you can find the right one, they pay for your whole lot. Not sure those are the same man. What? Guy who wants a Paisley. Oh, I'm, I see what you're saying. Guy who's going to buy a Paisley tie. You don't think he'll buy a golfing tie? Good point. That's a, that's a great, that's interesting too to think about, right? Will that same person buy both? So interesting in watching the best FBS and worst NFL team. Ooh. See, that's where everyone here in uh, Buckeye country says OSU can beat the Browns. I don't know about that. I had a crock pot that just sat, then I bundled with a pack of Oscar. No way. I want to see proof of that, Trent. You listed hot dogs with it? I doubt it. That's funny, though. If that's true, that's funny. Because you can buy hot dogs for like 98 cents at Walmart. All right, everybody. So that's what I bought today. Uh, sold some jerseys. Uh, so what else did I sell? Uh, good sales today. Hopefully everyone else had good sales. Uh, sold this. This was interesting. If you guys, again, find this brand, it sat for a little bit. Uh, Sun Ice. Spelled just how it sounded. Uh, sounds. Uh, it's a golfing windbreaker. Sold that for 35 bucks. And then uh, jerseys, hat from the bins for 20 and a board game for 20 So get stuff listed. <laughs> it'll sit and pay for itself. So, guys, that's why I talk about ties. Look for ties. Research them. Don't pass them up. Look for the colors, the brands, and the logos. Uh, search for stuff around the house. That's free money to you. I say free money. Otherwise, you're not going to have any money. <laughs> I have that polo shirt that's been sitting there, and I've never worn it. No money in that shirt. Sell it. Make some money. So look for stuff around the house, and then uh, look for stuff at the thrift store.
So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out on a Friday evening. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Talk tomorrow. Liquidation code tomorrow. And uh, we'll do a tour. I'll show you a tour around here. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Talk tomorrow. See you.